Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, thanks for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. Um, easy cook today, inexpensive cook today, sear planking today. Um, kind of torn whether I should call this a meatloaf burger because I've been doing a lot of burger recipes. I've got one actually I'm going to be cooking up tomorrow. Um, meatloaf sandwich, or just a different way of making meatloaf I guess. Uh, uh, anyway, what I'm going to be doing is mixing up a fairly traditional uh, meatloaf. Um, it's my meatloaf recipe and uh, I'll tell you right now, my meatloaf recipe changes pretty much every time I make meatloaf. don't really have a system of measurement or anything. I just add a bunch of crap in there and uh, meatloaf. A lot of people make soup that way too. Um, if you have a good meatloaf recipe you prefer to use, go for it. Uh, a lot of what I'm doing to, on this video is providing you with a, a different technique that you might want to give a shot with your uh, recipe. Um, anyway, like I said, I am going to be making them into patties and putting them onto one of these. This is uh, one of Nature Choice's uh, burger planks. I'm going to put a link uh, down below this video in the comments section for Nature's Choice. also wanted to let you know that if you type in uh, Ballistic 10 on the uh, coupon code spot, you'll get a 10% discount. It's not too bad. Um, first thing we're going to do is just go over the ingredients I'm going to use. We're going to use one small white onion that I finely minced. You don't have to use white onion, whatever onion you have on hand. Three cloves of garlic, again, finely minced. One and a half teaspoons of kosher salt few pumps of pepper from the pepper mill, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, two-thirds cup of ketchup, a quarter cup canned diced tomatoes, and the tomatoes I'm using are uh, seasoned with basil, garlic, and oregano, so I'm thinking that's going to add a nice little flavor to it. 12 ounce package of breakfast sausage, one and a, half, uh, one and a quarter pounds of uh, ground hamburger, two large eggs that I'm going to just loosely scramble before I pour it into the uh, mixture here, one cup of Italian breadcrumbs, and uh, one third cup parsley that I'm going to finely chop. Right, we're going to get all these ingredients into a bowl, mix it up really good. At that point, you could put it in the fridge, it'll hold for a few hours before you're ready to cook. Or you can take it right out to the grill after you make your patties, and uh, that's what we're going to do. Alright, so as you can see, meatloaf uh, concoction is all mixed up. Nothing complicated, nothing, you know, exotic here, just some really basic, basic ingredients. Pretty classic meatloaf, uh, all the flavors play well together. Um, next step is to form the patties. All right, so definitely not rocket science here. I'm just going to take the uh, meatloaf mixture, make it into a ball, like a meatball, and uh, form it into patties. Make them as big, as big or as small as you want. Now, if you're using these planks, you know, you're going to be limited to how big the planks are. So, uh, something to think about. Anyway, there you go. I'll, uh, I'm just going to continue making these and I'll meet you out at the grill. Alright guys, so it's time to actually start the planking. So I've had the cedar planks um, soaking for, you know, probably about two hours. There's a rough side and a smooth side. You've seen this before on the other planking videos all over YouTube right now. We're going to put these down, smooth side down. That is, uh, preheat this, and, you know, like I said, sterilize this of any, you know, buggies that might be living on here, any microbes, bacteria. This is an important step, and you don't see it on a lot of the instructions that you, uh, on the planks you buy at the store. But, you know, Larry, uh, over there at Nature's Choice, make sure he knows, that people that buy his product know this.
All right, I'm gonna get the lid on and uh, check these guys. I'm expecting uh, about 20 minutes. I'll check them in 20. I am going to use a temperature gauge a thermometer just because of the pork and I'm looking for at least 165. So we'll uh, check back in about 20 minutes. Okay. 20 minutes have passed and they are done. I took their temperature. Um, next thing I'm going to do is uh, apply ketchup on the top. And my personal favorite thing about meatloaf is that caramelized ketchup. It's the type I grew up with and that's what I like. My wife likes it too. Okay, now. Want to make sure you dispose of these boards and uh, I put them in a like a bucket of water. They are very hot, hot enough to start a fire. This is the cool thing about this, is if, if you are like me, you like that caramelized ketchup, you're going to get it on both sides. So it's like every slice is a good one. And you don't have to make a sandwich out of it like this. You can do an open face, you can just eat it the way it is. All right, I'm going to call these done. No, like I said, I'm going to make sandwiches, so... I've got ciabatta rolls that I've buttered. And that's all I'm going to put on them. Just want to toast them. These have already been in the oven. I actually got these like par baked at my uh, grocery store. So all I needed to do was, con you know, finish the baking process. So I did that inside my house. So these things are piping hot and very soft and fresh. All right, let's uh, get in the house and we'll try these bad boys out. 
All right, so here is the sandwich. Um, like I said, just, you know, that caramelized ketchup and this butter on this toasted ciabatta is all I'm going with. Uh, let's cut this in half. Beautiful, just some I mean meat loafy. <laughs> Let's give this a shot. Very good. Again, it's got that meatloaf flavor. I mean, it just tastes like a nice slice of meatloaf, but only it's got that really subtle, smoky flavor from the cedar plank. Um, everything just works really good. You know, just simplicity here. Uh, anyway guys give this a shot again don't be afraid to mess around with the uh, recipe every time I make meatloaf it changes um, I just wanted to kind of show you another way of making meatloaf you don't have to do the uh, meatloaf that our moms and our grandparents were making there's nothing wrong with change when it comes to stuff like this anyway uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you on my next video